Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. We're at Mobile World Congress 2023 in Barcelona. And now I'm delighted to be joined by Stefan Fjordinger, Head of Huawei Munich Research Center and VP of Huawei Antenna Business Unit. First, what new antenna solutions and key features are you introducing to MWC this year to meet network requirements? We have been pushing innovation in the last year quite a lot ranging from implementation details to groundbreaking new antenna solutions. One of them is the Maxwell platform, which is an all-in-one passive antenna platform that is fully transparent in the C-band over the full length of the antenna, which enables operators to build up high-complexity site configurations with up to two massive MIMO AAUs and still occupying only one single antenna slot at the tower. We have shown the X2 antenna architecture, which is a completely new way of doing sites, basically doubling the antenna configuration at a site without increasing the size. And that is a response to many operator requirements, ranging, for example, from, uh, from antenna sharing requirements to the PIM-free deployment of 44R in 700 and 800 and 900 megahertz at a single site. We show the Hertz platform, which is a new platform that is optimized for perfect uh, 88R deployment in FDD and TDD. And at the same time, it provides a high efficiency in beamforming and it provides a better energy efficiency. We also show the Echo series, which is an antenna platform that is optimized for RF power efficiency, which allows operators to largely decrease their energy bill. And at the same time, it can be used to boost the, the coverage of the, of the network. So how can passive antenna save energy? And how does it work? Well, the antenna, if you think about it functionally, is the link between the base station and the terminals. Now think of all the energy that is needed to create this powerful RF signal at the base station. Now, on the way from the base station to the terminal, most of that energy is lost. So if we find a way to get a little bit more of that energy to the terminal, then uh, the radio power at the base station can reduce by the same amount. And we actually found solutions how we can do that in the antenna. And we have proven in uh, dozens of deployments with operators all around the world that just by using those new antenna technologies, we can reduce the power consumption of the base station by 15% and more. So you mentioned energy efficiency is very important for antennas. What is the technical direction in this field? Well, actually, when you look at energy efficiency, there you have to take a quite broad view on that. There are several elements that come into game. One of that and the most obvious one is RF efficiency. So if you want to improve the RF efficiency of the antenna, you need to make sure that more of the radio energy that comes out of the base station actually is really um, transmitted in the air and is not consumed in the antenna or reflected back to the base station. But we think further than that. So once we have the energy in the air, the second thing is a coverage efficiency. So we want to make sure that the energy that is out in the air is really going in the area that we want to provide service with and not in areas outside of that. So by improving the coverage efficiency, we get more of that energy in the area we want it. We have less of the energy wasted around. And by having less energy around, that also means that we are able to reduce interference to other mobile terminals. So not only do we provide a better coverage, but we also reduce interference, so we improve the network performance at the same time. And the third element that comes into play is beamforming efficiency, which is similar to coverage efficiency, but now focusing on the individual beam that we send to an individual terminal out there. So same thing, we want to focus more of the energy for the terminal on that individual beam that we send out to him, and by that, we have less of the energy that is wasted around and less energy that creates interference with other terminals. So by that, further improving the overall energy efficiency and reducing interference, which also provides a better user experience at the same time. So RF efficiency or radio efficiency 
is something that the whole industry now is looking at, but with our more comprehensive view on antenna efficiency with the effects that I talked about, we have more opportunities to find solutions that help to improve the efficiency overall and provide better solutions. Stefan, thank you very much for sharing your insights with us. It was my pleasure talking to you.